you guys i hope you guys are doing good today so for all your tea sipping needs make sure you guys go to lovelytea.net and if you are an amazon prime member feel free to go to amazon.com forward slash because somebody told me it was a forward slash and not a backslash um forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea that's l-o-v-e-l-y-t-e-a so go there for all your tea sipping needs please don't forget to leave us a review thank you guys so much for the support and enjoy this video coming right on up okay Hey y'all, so I wanted to come out here and do a part two of the whole NBA young boy and Janae situation, honey. So as you guys know, the other day I did a voiceover podcast about everything that was going down between them, about how she was trending on social media, and basically she was lying about how she got that black eye. Well now, the very next day after I did that video, she came out and she went onto Instagram and she wrote exactly how she allegedly got this black eye. I'm gonna go ahead and read this bullshit to y'all. Go ahead and check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. So Janaea says, I was headed towards a chaotic road, trying to seek attention from someone I felt didn't care about me anymore. I had to learn Everybody has to live their own life, feels to see the person you love have to move on because people don't want y'all around each other. No, he didn't hit me. No, water didn't jump out the pot on my face. The truth is, when my daddy finally found out I was pregnant, he hit me. I was looking for the wrong attention and y'all dumb enough to feed into it. I don't know what else to say, but I'm sorry. Janae, if you don't sit your dumb, young, and full of cum ass down somewhere, how are you calling people dumb for feeding into the bullshit that you're putting into social media, okay? You're putting this on social media, you're looking for attention, and now you're trying to say that your daddy blacked your eye. But the sad part is that she's lying about that. Her dad could get in trouble for putting his hands on a pregnant young girl. You get what I'm saying? So she's just, I, I don't know how to take this young girl. I think she's ditzy as hell, and she's clearly thirsty for social media validation and attention. But now that's not even the craziest part of this situation, okay? So now what's even crazier is that NBA Youngboy basically dropped a new song called Can't Be Saved. And in that song, it's, it's a fire song. You can hear the pain in his voice. He's going in. And in that song, he admits to having herpes. And basically, he's saying that it's in his blood and it made him cry and everything else. And like I've always stated when I've done videos about him, the little boy can rap. He's not your typical down south mumble rapper, you know, where he's just rapping a bunch of nonsense. He literally can rap. He's really good at what he does. But unfortunately, his social media antics tend to overshadow his music. But I'm going to go ahead and play you guys a snippet of can't be saved. Go ahead and check this out, and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Trust gone, thought you love me. You posting that shit, so you really saying fuck me. They keep telling me shit like they trying to corrupt me. I ain't do not a thing, that's a regular problem. Every day getting cussed out by my mom. Herpes in my blood, and that shit got me crying. I really got feelings, you see, without signs. All right, so you guys just heard that snippet of him admitting that he has herpes. So then, of course, once this went viral. Everybody on social media has something to say. Folks ran to Janae's Instagram, started going in on her. Because allegedly they're saying that Janae is the one who cheated on him with some guy named G Money who has since been dead. And G Money also burnt his sister and burnt Janae. And supposedly Janae gave him herpes. So now she's on Instagram Live once again looking for attention. And she's saying that she didn't give him herpes. She's saying that she doesn't have it. Meanwhile, she's sitting here pregnant by this man, okay? So this entire situation is a hot damn mess. Y'all go ahead and check out what she had to say on Instagram. Check this out and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. You know what? Some stuff I ain't going to even speak on. I was, but did I change my mind? So y'all got herpes? No, he has herpes. That don't have nothing to do with me. So you single? Yes, I'm single. How far along are you? What do you mean if you're not to be together again? <laughs> you wouldn't believe. No, I'm not. Like what? I ain't doing nobody like shit.
If she pregnant, she pregnant. Why young boy don't care about the baby? Because it ain't his baby to care about. I had this baby by myself. I went to the fucking clinic. I mean, not the clinic, the doctor. And they put the uh, little sperm in the egg inside my uterus. And boom, I got pregnant. But y'all don't know nothing. So since y'all don't know anything, of course y'all on the inside, I mean the outside looking in, they can, no more. Fuck it. I'm not going to do it. Then he stopped lying. You did not make the baby by yourself. You know, I don't give a fuck what you think. Because that's what my baby going to think. So. <laughs> Who says she pregnant? <laughs> a lot of stuff ain't love. I've never been loved a day in my life. Shut the fuck up. You're not even having a baby. Stop lying. Well, every time I go to the doctor, I get an ultrasound or something, and I hear something heart be down there, so. If she pregnant, she pregnant. Like, what y'all asking me for? I don't know. Nobody care. I go by words, not assumptions. That's your fault. It's life. You wait. Sad. Shit. A lot of shit sad. All right, so you guys just heard what Janae had to say. And in my personal opinion, this girl is definitely a few eggs short of a damn dozen. She just comes off as slightly touched, slightly slow. I mean, even the stuff that she's saying when people are asking her about the baby, no, a doctor, you know, put an egg and sperm together and that's how I got pregnant. You know, she's saying shit like a dumbass little kid, which I expect because she is a dumbass little kid, okay? But I think the saddest part is when she says that she's never felt love. And it's clearly obvious that she's missing something in her life for her to think that these social media antics are okay, for her to keep running behind this boy who's disrespected her so many times. And she has also disrespected him and also disrespected other people on social media as well. You know, so this entire situation is disturbing. This is why people need to look at this situation, especially young kids, and realize this is not where you want to be in life, okay? This girl is 18. She's clearly pregnant by a man who has admitted to having herpes. She's saying that she doesn't have it um but yet and still you are having raw sex with him and on top of that he also allegedly has another baby on the way so he already has four children at the age of 18 he's only 18 he has four children she's supposed to be having his fifth baby and now there's an alleged sixth baby mother out there that she claims that she doesn't care about you know, but like I said before, the sad part is all of this is going to be affecting these children, okay? This young girl literally has no idea how STDs are transferred, okay? She's sitting here pregnant by a man who doesn't want to have anything to do with her or this child. And then on top of that, she's making up stories about this black eye, about how she was allegedly hit in the face with some noodles. And then now she's coming out saying that her dad hit her. This is why people need to stay in school. This is why kids need to stay involved in sports and extracurricular activities. So that way they're not being involved in fuckery like this, okay? So now if that's not crazy enough, once again, NBA Youngboy's mother, she is going off on Instagram. This woman is probably as worse as Tokyo Tony and Frankie, Keisha Cole's mom put together, okay? This woman has no chill. Folks were asking her about her son's herpes and that whole situation, and she went smooth the fuck off. Y'all go ahead and check this out. I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. I'm gonna see young boy got herpes facts. You know how many people in the world got herpes? Facts. You can't die from it? Facts. Find somebody with it? Facts. Use a rubber? Facts. Kiss my ass? Facts. Bitch. I don't know why you trying to make somebody feel bad because they got a disease. It ain't they thought that they got a motherfucking disease. You think having a disease is funny? Huh? You think that's cute? You think that's funny? Okay, so what the fuck if somebody got a disease? They say Usher got a fucking disease. What that do? He still can sing. He's still beautiful. He still got hoes, bitch. You might need to go catch it, bitch. Fuck you worry about my motherfucking child for. They got people that got real fucking sicknesses and illnesses and y'all worry about some simple ass shit. And if somebody do got a real illness that's very bad, it ain't your motherfucking business. You can't fix them, you can't motherfucking heal them, so don't worry about it. Why we trying to down so fucking bad, bitch. Girl, shut up. You shut the fuck up. <laughs> Let's say about that. Oh, I 
me tell you something, bitch. Quit asking me about me and my motherfucking trail. I don't care what Kentrell say, because I'm going to love my baby motherfucker regardless. Kentrell can say anything he want to say about me, because I'm going to love my motherfucking trail. A lot of children don't like the way they mama do shit, but if you don't like the way I do shit, that don't mean I'm a bad mama. Get your stupid ass out my motherfucking life. And yes, he do say I cuss him out every day, and I'm going to cuss his ass out every day if he do something that he ain't got no business. Fuck, I don't care how much money you got. I don't care how many cars you got. You a motherfucking child, and you my child, so I can say what the fuck I want to to my children. I love my children regardless. So don't come on here asking me nothing about nothing. Stupid ass hoe, bitch. If you do something that's not right, I'm gonna cuss you out. I don't give a fuck who you is. Now, I love my motherfucking chin. Quit playing with me. Let me see. Young boy don't like when I cuss him out. Well, then guess what? I ain't gonna even try to nobody. That's what I do. I get my point about what I cuss If you know how to make me get my point across different, it's different. Some people, my husband might say, you know, don't do that. You're gonna be punished. And I might say, I punch you in your fucking face, keep doing it. I mean, I don't know the difference. You know what I'm saying? I do stuff different. I love my children. Just because I curse don't mean I don't love my children. Just because I curse don't mean I'm fucking crazy. Y'all makes me sick. No, maybe I should not cuss my children as much as I do. But if you gotta get your point about cause by cussing, cuss they ass. What you want, baby K? Shit. I love my fucking children. Let me see. How old is Zell be when he had his first child? 16. Well, whatever Kentrell going through, he got a whole family, baby. He sure do. He got a whole family. And ain't no matter what he going through, we ain't gonna, I ain't going to never turn my back on my baby ever. We give a fuck what you, nobody say. Start ugly as fuck. Where the fuck that came from? Get your stupid ass off my motherfucking lab. They dumb people, bro. What she good about Star for? Y'all be asking dumb questions. They show the fuck do. Come on, Kamari. Let me see what they just made. And you look cute. Well, ain't nobody worried about nobody. Just Lord Jesus. Y'all don't know me. I don't I don't care about nothing y'all be saying, so it, it don't matter. They just say what they wanna say about me. If they see me, they not gonna say nothing. They gonna either stare, look, or take a picture. They not gonna say shit. What's up? But well, Baby K still gonna be, and Baby K show sure is my baby. He sure is. I love Baby K. People really get on my Man, nerves. Like, they be talking about stupid stuff. I wouldn't even entertain them bitches. Honey. Now, that was a hot, damn, ratchet-ass mess, okay? You know, like I said, I'm not surprised about his behavior and how he talks and how he acts. Because look at the mother. Like I told you on the last video, the apple does not fall far from the tree. This woman is batshit crazy. Now, she does, you know, speak a little bit of truth in there. But the way she comes off, she's so hostile and angry. And I think the saddest part is when you listen to his music, he has quite a few songs where he talks about his mother. And everything is his mother asking him for money, never being satisfied enough with what he gives her, her cussing him out. You know, so she's obviously using her son for attention. And she's using her son as a meal ticket i don't know what this woman does she clearly has no job besides babysitting all these damn grandkids that her children keep producing and then leaving with her okay now with that being said what i don't like about this situation is i'm seeing a lot of people clowning and be a young boy and making fun of him for having herpes okay now i understand he's a young male hoe okay he's been out here fucking everything that damn moves i don't know if janae gave him herpes or if he got it on his own because let's keep it real he has four kids by four different women so obviously he's not too fond of protection he's been knocking up girls since the age of damn 15 okay so this young man who's soon to be a father of five or six who's only 18 years old okay um He's coming from a lot of dysfunction, him and Jenea. They basically come from dysfunctional households, and that's what kept their relationship together as long as it did, is that they were thriving and growing and coming together based off of that dysfunction, okay? Because there's no reason why at 18 years old, this boy has one baby, let alone four, okay? I could understand having the one things happen but four kids he's been having babies since he was 15 years old and now he has two more on the way so that to me says a lot and that is very very disturbing that clearly shows he does not know about birth control he does not know about strapping up but i respect the fact that he was honest he didn't have to share that in a song he didn't have to talk about that in a song and quiet as it's kept 
why a lot of people are on social media fronting, there's a lot of folks out here with STDs, herpes, syphilis, all types of damn shit, okay? So even though a lot of folks are not going to come out and admit this shit, they're probably low-key happy that he did say something because now I'm sure there's lots of fans out there who do have herpes and they feel like, you know what, thank you for being my voice. Thank you for speaking up. This is a man who is literally half the age of Usher. Usher is a grown man, and I'm not saying that Usher needs to tell people his STD status, but Usher was out here basically criminally getting people infected with herpes, not being honest. You know what I'm saying? He's had to pay millions of dollars in lawsuits and all types of stuff to people because he gave them an STD unbeknownst to them. So my thing is this, at least this young man is being honest about his situation, unlike Usher, the serial herpes infector, okay? So at least he's honest about his situation. While it's sad that at 18, years old he's having to deal with something like that I'm glad he was honest about in his song you could hear the pain in his voice you could hear how upset he was and I don't deny for a minute I bet you anything Janae has the same thing she's just not going to come out and admit it and with that being said let's let's keep it all the way 100 that's not going to stop him from getting girls it's not going to stop him from getting ass bitches will still be lined up trying to get on his tour bus trying to go to his hotel room and trying to give him some regardless of his STD status okay if damn Charlie Sheen could still get pussy and this guy had HIV and a lot of people in Hollywood knew and he still had multiple girlfriends trust and believe there's gonna still be women and females lined up to have sex with NBA young boy okay that's just the truth of the matter but I do respect him for being honest I do respect him for talking about in the song because that's one thing a lot of these rappers don't talk about they talk about the glitz the glamour the money the drugs all the females you know all the sex that they can have they brag about that shit but they never keep it real and they never talk about those you know trips to the clinic the time when they went pee and their shit was burning you know what I'm saying they had to go get some medicine medication or the fact that they themselves have herpes or chlamydia and things like that you can't be out here just raw dogging all types of people and then thinking that you know what i'm saying that you're safe 24 7 i mean look at drake every story that's ever come out of drake has been he does not like to use condoms he messes with girls raw so i would not be surprised in the least if drake has had an std or two as well okay i respect him for being honest i respect him for putting his truth out there because when you stand in your truth nobody can use that shit against you at the end of the day so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation honey once again concerning nba young boy and Janaea, you know she's saying that she doesn't have it she doesn't care if he has another baby on the way you know her lying about you know who hit her in the eye now she's saying that it was her father how do you guys feel about that situation how do you feel about NBA Youngboy's song where he's admitting to having herpes? And then last but not least, honey, how do y'all feel about his mother and her constantly going off and cussing people out on social media? This entire situation is a hot damn mess, but you know what? <laughs> I'm here for a bitch, okay? Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.